the manifestation techniques that I'm going to teach you, once you finish learning these manifestation techniques, people will think you've made a deal with the devil. Or people will think you are the devil. Or people will think you joined Illuminati. Or people will think you are demonic. And you, it can't be the power of God because it's just too powerful. People will think you are into some shady stuff, something evil. Because these manifestation techniques really work well. So I want you to relax, calm down, and watch this video to the end because it's going to take a while. I'm going to teach for 30 minutes the manifestation techniques that I used when I was as broke as nothing. And the manifestation techniques I'm still using. These manifestation techniques will work for money, relationship, health, miracles, anything. So let's get started. This manifestation techniques I'm teaching you <laughs> is based on eight years of training in manifestation. I've used it. I've used these techniques for myself. And I've used these techniques for other people too. So what do I mean? People can pay me that I should make something happen in their lives. And I will use these manifestation techniques and it will happen. And if I want something to happen in my own life too, I'm going to use the manifestation techniques too and they will work. They've been working. They have been working. So that's why I'm very confident and I will teach you in this video. You see, people have been trying to get things from God. Oh Lord God, how can I get this thing from you? People have been praying, but it doesn't work for them. And if you don't know this secret, it will keep on not working for you. You will be seeing other people that are achieving it and you'll be angry for nothing. Those people that are getting results, they are doing something that you are not doing. That's just the fact. They are not lucky. They are just doing something that you are not doing. And they know the things that I'm going to talk about in this video. They know one or more of those things that I'll talk about in this video. Number one. Should I tell you? Because I really like to keep it as a secret. I don't really want to tell you. Because if I tell you now, some of you will be so good that you actually get it. You need to pay me for it. You are basically getting it for free. And your life is going to be good. Why the other people, they will not get it. They will actually need to message me. Yes, they will need to click the link in my bio. They need to click the link below to get my books on how to prophesy so many angels. You know, to learn manifestation techniques from me. But for those of you that will be able to get it properly, by watching this video without messaging me, then I'm happy for you. So this is my free gift for you. Now, many things have happened in my life that are unexplainable. And one of them was when I manifested food. Let me start from the basic one. I manifested food. I was hungry in school. I had no money. <laughs> there was no food to eat. So I needed a particular kind of food, which is called semo, semolina or semovita in Nigeria. It's made from corn, corn flour. So semo, semovita, I needed two meats and I needed iwedu and stew. I needed to eat it. I was a student in school. I had no money. I was broke. But then I wanted to test the power of God to, to make it happen. So what did I do? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to tell you about how I manifested amazing stuff. I'm just starting from the bottom. To get the food, you know, I needed it that day urgently because I, I had no money. There was no way. I was going to buy it. 
with my money. I don't have the money. I did not have it. It's not possible. So what I did was I increased the desire inside of me, first of all. Now, this is not something you'll be doing every day because you can't do it every day. I'll tell you the other techniques that I used. There are different ways of doing this thing. So when I was broke and poor then, I created the intense desire that I needed it. I needed semo. So I activated my belly chakra. If you've been watching my videos, you understand chakras. I activated my belly chakra. Desire. I visualize the sunlight in my belly. So I increase the desire. I breathe in, breathe it out. <sighs> increase that desire, the emotions running all over my body. Then I activated my throat chakra too, because I was about to speak a word. When I activated these two chakras, I just said it with faith and certainty that I was going to receive what I wanted. And I wanted it that day. There was no other option. I wanted it that day. So I spoke with these two chakras. I said, I need Semo. Semolina or Semu Vita. Two fish, two meats, or two meats, not fish, a widow, and stew. Now, Lord, I need it. Help me, Lord. Let someone come and give it to me. Anybody that has it should give it to me. So I spoke the word. I felt the energy in my belly chakra. I felt the energy in my throat chakra, and I spoke it. And I started to wait for the result. I got the food. And the person that gave me the food, see, I was alone in the room. I did not shout. I said it very quietly. So there was no way someone would listen. But I was very hungry that day. There was no other way. I had to perform a miracle. Miracles and manifestations happen when there is no other way. This is not something that you'll be like, you have money in your hand and you want to manifest. No. Number one rule of manifestation, you need, you must need it genuinely. It's not a joke. You don't use the power of God for a joke. And it must also align with prophecy. Because I only received that food because it was meant to keep me alive for the prophecies to happen in the future. God needed me to do something in the future. God wanted me to be alive in the future. God accepted that I was supposed to eat. That was why the miracle happened anyway. So there is no miracle that will happen unless it is going to allow a prophecy to happen. Yes. Any miracle that happens must support a prophecy. Mm, you are not understanding me. Any miracle that happens, happens because there is a prophecy that it supports. For example, if you are supposed to live till 97 years old, that is the prophecy. And a car accident tries to happen, you will not die. You, will not, you are not allowed to die because cherubim and seraphims will come and save you. Yes, because God wants you to live to 97. So I was able to receive the food because of that. So I got the food. The person that gave me the food, he doesn't talk to me. And the person brought the exact food, the same one. Two meat, stew, and they will do. That person has never given me food before in my life. We don't talk. We are even enemies. And he brought the food for me and I ate it. Done. Miracle happened. Yes. That was how I manifested it. Okay. Now. Another way to manifest. I'm going to explain it to you. This was when I manifested money. I've manifested money multiple times. Okay. Money can be manifested. 
but let's go back to the rule again of manifestation for you to manifest something number one it must support a prophecy if it doesn't support a prophecy it will not happen number two you must need it and it must be a serious situation miracles are not for jokes manifestation is not for jokes those two things are key so i traveled with my friend one time to a place called lagos in nigeria and i spent my money lavishly i spent my money lavishly because god has been helping me for a very long time and it doesn't keep me stranded so i knew that god would come for me i knew that god would help me because anytime it seems like my money wants to be down god will surely come and help so he has been doing it for a very long time so i just felt like okay he's going to do it again he's, he always does it all the time but that's because i know a principle that makes god to do it for me and i'm going to share it in this video a manifestation secret that actually works so i traveled to lagos we spent the money lavishly i got the money from coaching business coaching and consulting then i used to teach people how to make you know thousands of dollars online organic marketing that's what i was teaching people how to get clients without running ads so for some people that are asking, how does this guy make his money? I've done so many things over a period of time. There was a time I was just doing business coaching and consulting. I know how to get clients online. Seriously, I know how to teach people how to get clients without running ads because I don't run ads. Too. How to get clients on Facebook, Instagram, social media, how to have conversations on Messenger, WhatsApp, chat, sales training. I know all those things. Closing on the phone, closing chat appointment setting appointment booking i know those things and i was teaching people so i made my money i lavished it i spent it anyhow and um i had zero dollars left zero dollars <laughs> because the money i was expecting didn't come <laughs> i was expecting some amount of money and it didn't come so i was stranded I told my friend, look, our money has finished. And um, I don't even have money to eat for us to eat tomorrow. You know, I'm the one set, sorting our bills. The food we've been eating, everything, I'm the one that sort the bills. But um, unfortunately, there is no money now. I don't have any money again. So now all hopes on God. But... I know God will answer me tomorrow. Because I haven't spent that money lavishly because I thought I was going to receive a particular amount of money and the money didn't come. So I was stranded. I told him I don't have any money again. I thought I would get the money, but no. So I said even the money to leave Lagos because I usually travel by flight back then, even till now. The money to go back by flight, I don't have it. Because since you don't have any money, the, the best thing to do is to run back to where I usually, you know, where I stay. Because I want to represent base in Lagos. So no money again. So what are we going to do? Even the money to book flight and go back, I don't have. Even the money to eat tomorrow, I don't have. Even the money to renew this apartment that we are staying in tomorrow, I don't have. Even the money to to enter public transport, to go to where, to, to the other state where I live, I don't have. Even the money to book, you know, boat or Uber to go by road, I don't have. So we are basically stuck here with no money. No money to eat tomorrow, no money <laughs> to renew the apartment. Because if you even have money to renew an apartment, 
you can still stay in the apartment without eating you can fast right but no they were going to kick us out tomorrow <sighs> what can we do no money to even eat tomorrow no money to run back home tomorrow but i said i'm going to pray i'm going to pray and um something is going to happen this situation has happened so many times it's not the first time that i've been doing it i've been doing it multiple times that i really know how to do it you know and it's not just faith it's faith but it's still working of miracles manifestation i'll explain it in this video for you so that you can do it too so i told him we need to pray but I looked at him, I was like, this guy is not a guy of prayer. He can't really do my level of prayer. This is the first story. It, I'll tell you about the second situation. So, I said, don't worry, relax in your room, go and sleep. I'll do the prayer. That was how I started to pray. And the kind of prayer I was doing is not a normal prayer. No, it's a manifestation prayer. It's a prayer of not accumulation of energy, because I already accumulated energy in my chakras. It is called formation of energy. I was bringing the energy together. You know that kind of prayer. I was like, because there are, there are times where I was speaking tongues like menosa tivran de leti post opianate, peris os tivran akna kaya kana introko kufin and revliza rose opiana kani grahana pal etri vis os timianat peris ozubinet peris isos amenanet. There's a that's a different kind of tongue, but this one is not the normal one. This one is just like. Like you are trying to like condense the energy, right? Because you want to use it for something. This one is not a normal talking that you want to you're just praying in tongues. No, 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 no. You want to you are charging the energy like sound. It's not yet enough. Wait. Take time first. Continue. Like, you are still charging you. If you have an open third eye, you will see the ball of energy vibrating. Wait. Don't release it yet. Let it condense. So it can take like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. That night, he had an astral projection. The prayer took him out of his body and opened the door. This is what happened. He told me he was very scared. As I was praying, something took him out of his body. He saw his bed, body on the bed. He opened the door. Then the team pulled him back into his body. And he woke up and the door was open physically. But I was in my room, right? So I was generating the The energy was condensing. I was frowning my face because... The mental process involved is not it's not a joke so and i began to began to set the intention that i'm going to write a post right now on facebook and a, a client is going to come and pay me exactly a thousand dollars within the next one hour that was the prayer kaya brande that was the prayer within one hour 60 minutes i'm going to make a post now and i'm going to charge this post with energy and i'm going to rewrite the post and the client will message me immediately that was it so i charged the energy for like 20 minutes then i took my phone started to type who wants, blah, 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 blah. who wants to get a one-on-one -on -one session on how to do something, something, blah, blah, blah. 
question mark, post it, pa, chocolate boy, boom. After 30 minutes, someone messaged me. Hey, Victor, I just saw your post. I'm interested. And that was how I sent my details, and the person paid me $1,000. And that was how we went from being broke and stranded to having $1,000 in my pocket. That was how I did it. One, one hour, less than one hour, 30 minutes. The second situation was when we're, we're stuck again. It happened so many times. I, see, when it comes to money, being broke and something, there are situations where the money will come. We've been doing it for a very long time that we know how it works. For me, uh, so we're stranded again. Then I use another technique this time around because I know many different techniques. There's this technique I learned from a mentor, which is, I told the guy we are broke. He was like, oh, really? I said, yes, but I'm going to pray. Now, understand that these things happen because when I checked the prophecy, I was not meant to be stranded. I was not meant to be stranded. And I saw myself making money in the future. So, obviously, I cannot be allowed to be stranded. And also, I needed it. We were genuinely broke. We had no money. Yes, I understand that we spend the money lavishly, but when angels are working, they don't think of that. They'll just be like, oh, you must move to the next step. We can't allow you to stay broke here. We can't allow you to be disgraced. <laughs> so we must provide. So I, I started to create a visualization slowly. Okay. This, let me check if this is proper okay so i started to create a visualization my third eye and the, the third eye spins clockwise that's how it spins to the right it's not it's vibrations so I was spinning my third eye. As I spin my third eye, then I visualized exactly what I wanted. <laughs> how I was supposed to receive money. How I visualized myself having the money. Oh, I visualized myself getting the money. The money entered into my bank account. Yes, we are broke. Zero dollars. I'm telling you. If you think you are broke, you've not been broke like that before. Let me just tell you the fact. Do you know what broken, bro being broke means? We're broke. Then I visualize the money entering into my bank account. Usually, it takes like five days if someone sent me money through that means. But in this case, it didn't take five days. I just visualized the money entering into my bank account. That's all. Then I, once I got that visualization, I compressed it into a tiny ball. From a big visualization, I compress it into a tiny ball, a tiny dot. But I didn't just compress it into a tiny dot. Because I spin the third eye chakra clockwise, I compress it back anti-clockwise. Okay, this is it. You imagine the visualization clockwise. Then compress it into a single ball anti-clockwise. Then I brought it back into my third eye like a spring. Then I release it back into the universe. Clockwise, boom. Then I felt like something came out of me, like virtue. And I felt it merging with the universe. Kai, aya. Then I knew it worked. Because I felt like it gone to the universe, like boom, like a signal. Boom. I slept in the morning. Someone that I had a conversation with that they said they are not doing it again or something. That they said they are not doing. They think about it. They will think about it. You don't force me. Don't do this. I'm not forcing you. You know, sometimes when you are having a sales conversation, the person will be like, why? Are you trying to pressure me? I'm not trying to pressure you. I'm just trying to help you to make a good decision. 
But sometimes, you know, people just behave somehow. They think you want to force them. So you just leave them. And the same person that I talked with weeks ago, maybe even months ago, just messaged me and said, what's the account details? And I sent the account details. And the money was sent, 5,000 CAD, Canadian dollars, within six hours. And the money dropped into my bank account within an hour. And it went from being broke to having 5,000 Canadian dollars, which was around 4,000 US dollars then. As simple as ABC, manifestation techniques. Oh, there was one time I told my student to, because I had a student then, I was living in my house. And I said I was going to show him a manifestation technique. <laughs> this one is not because I ever needed the money. I just wanted to show him. And I told him, tomorrow, within, in less than 24 hours, I will not make a video on YouTube. I will not post on any social media platform. And someone is going to message me, and the person is going to pay before 6.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's what I said. And I went and I started to do a specific meditation because I had different techniques of meditation. I know many techniques, more than most people on it. That's just the fact. This is not about age. Or it's not about you've been doing it for a very long time. Of course, you could have been doing it for a very long time, but people just become and they are better than you. That's just the fact of life. You can't say, oh, because you've been doing something for a very long time. It doesn't matter. It's all about practice and dedication. You could be 59 years old. And someone that is 20 years will be way more better than you. It's just how life is. And I started to do a meditation technique. And um, it's a meditation technique of expectation. And meditation. When you focus on a particular thought, and you're like, this thing should happen now. 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 And you focus on it now for three hours. Now. 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 I did it. I did it for like, you know, I did like one hour. You don't understand. You think is what you are doing is not meditation. No. What you are doing is not meditation. What you are doing that you you say you are meditating. You are not meditating. If you are meditating, do you know what concentration is? You concentrate on a particular thought for a long period of time. That this thing should happen. You are expecting it and you hold that feeling. Most of you will be tired. Later, you say that uh, you can't do this. Why can't you do this? Papa, you've not done the training. I'm telling you the truth. Seriously, you've not done the training. You think you've done training. You've not. See you. You are weak. You are very weak. You are most likely lazy. You can do simple stuff. And once it becomes hard, you can't do it. Then you can't start to complain. <laughs> you prefer prayer. Oh, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, you are walking around. You are very convenient. Once it becomes painful, you run away. Can you meditate on something for a very long period of time? It should happen now, now. And you keep the vibration, the mental strain and stress. Now you're expecting it now, that feeling. And you hold it for one hour to three hours. And that was what I did. You can't understand. You can't do it. You, you think you, you can do it. I'm telling you, you can't do it. You can't do it. You've not done it before. Let me just tell you the fact. You think you've done it before, but you've not done it before. If you have done it before, you'll be able to do it now. They can do a competition. Can you make this thing happen now? Within the next two hours. And you'll be able to do it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, I did it. And the person messaged me around 5.30 the next morning. And they paid the $1,000. They paid a thousand dollars and I went to show my student, this is it. Have you seen it? That's all. And I was amazed. <laughs> this is a, this life is a matrix. What is happening on earth is a matrix. You can you can make anything happen. All these things happen is just a thought of God. But these things happen based on the meditation concentration. You can't be doing in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Let this day have all of God and stuff. <laughs> Oh, that is not concentration. 
you can't be moving around you will stay in one place for a long period of time because if 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 you move your hand like this ah you you've lost concentration if you if if you move your hand like this ah you spoil your meditation you must stay and wait and focus you are thinking about it you put your mind there the intensity you keep it for hours <laughs> the miracles begin to happen if not you just be praying your, your your three hours meditation will be two minutes of what another person did it's about intensity not about hours or stuff so that's it if you want to learn more i will see you in the next video you can get my courses book a call below if you need me to help you with anything let me know i will see you soon